Hi, welcome to my channel. This is second tutorial about part design. I'm gonna make tunnel using revolution tool. So first of all, let's create sketch on the exit plan. Click OK and then choose polyline. I really like using polyline to draw in segmented line uh, like that because it will reduce our time without repeatedly clicking the line tool. Okay, next step is adding dimension. You can make your own dimension uh, following your creativity or you can measure the actual tunnel that you have at home and redraw it following its dimension. Make sure when you adding some dimension and constraint of uh, to this sketch, the line color is turned from white to green. Because if still white, it means that still there is harm some degree of freedom that uh, it is not good for our drawing. We need add. Uh, more dimension maybe 2 degree of freedom means 2 uh, dimension constraint 1 degree of freedom so 1 dimension again yep it's already turned to green it means it's already fully constrained okay next step we need to draw another polyline and starting from the re, uh, the top end of the poly, first polyline and then drawing it down make it, it as parallel as possible following uh, the first polyline Okay. Yep, uh, this is some error uh, because of uh, there is uh, too much constraint that uh, make it the same effect. So we need to delete this constraint, and now we need to add dimension. I'm gonna use two. This two millimeter will be the thickness of the our tunnel. Okay. Okay, it's already fully constrained. So let's do a double check. Make sure that all point or all line is connected. Okay, I think that's enough. Then exit sketch. In the tax, choose revolution. Voila! I think we doesn't need to change any parameter. Just click OK. Mm, change refine to be true. The next step, I'm gonna make some additional detail. Uh, let's make it the tunnel holder on the top edge of the tunnel okay click this face and create a new sketch
Let's draw some rectangle. Okay, now adding some dimension. I think we need to project this uh, edge. Okay, already projected. Then let's continue to add dimension. Choose this point and this point and input 7.5. Oops, I forgot. It have to be 7.5. Let's continue adding the dimension until the rectangle already green. Exit the sketch and then choose pet Oops. Um, I keep to dimensioning reverse the direction and then I think this is too tight and uh, too uh, thick so reduce it to be 2 millimeter yep go to model and choose pad and okay change the refine to be true and that's it okay next step i'm gonna make hole on this holder choose this face and create sketch drawing some uh, circle We need to project this edge, then add some dimension 10 milli. Yep, enough. And then diameter. Ooh. How about egg? Okay. Exit sketch and then choose pocket. Um, choose through all then okay next add some fillet oops uh, we need to choose the edge that we want to make some fillet okay then radius eight oh. cannot Okay, how about reduce it to be 4? It's okay, increase it. Um, I think we only can add until 7, then okay. Voila, that's our tunnel. Okay, everybody, I think that's enough for this tutorial. And let's see on the next video for the another part design tutorial bye bye